how to upgrade all of your different armor pieces as well as all of your jewelry and kind of how it helps things scale up in general. It's just going to be a very simple concept. I'm going to go through both of the stations that you need as well as for the materials that you have. I'm going to show you how to break down some of these different items that I found in the open world and it'll stack up for some of the materials we can use for crafting. So if we scroll down here, we have like rawhide superior leather and then we have like our veiled crystals from salvaging and all the different things from salvaging legendaries. So this is like the tab, it's right here, material and stats, where you can see all of the different stuff that you need when you are going to be upgrading. And it'll also show you in the window too. So we have the blacksmith and then we have the jeweler. First one I'm going to talk about is the blacksmith. I'm going to go through the different tabs for it. So if we go to the blacksmith, the first tab is going to be salvage. And what you can do is I don't have anything marked as junk, but you can mark it as junk. So if you go, if you just like for on PC, if you just press spacebar, it'll mark it as junk and then it'll trash it once you get here. So actually in open world, what you can do is you can just mark all these as junk. And then once we get here, we could press all junk and it'll salvage everything I marked as junk. You can salvage everything common, magic, rare, or all items. You won't be able to do the legendaries. You're going to have to actually press on those yourself, but it'll show you what salvage materials you get. So if we were to break this down, this is what we got. Iron chunk, silver ore, and we got a sigil. So uh, breaking all these down like this, it'll show you all the salvage material you get. The repair section is for whenever you die, you lose durability on your items. At one point, you're going to have to repair them to keep them and their stats up. This is the area that you're going to be using for the repair. And then we have the upgrade section. So if you were to throw something in here, it'll show you what stat increase it gives. And it also tells you the material cost. So if I was to upgrade this, it takes it to the next tier and then it'll show you what it can give you every single time you upgrade. And upgrading your gear is very important as you do get a lot of DPS and increases the passive affixes bonuses on the item as you can see here as they are increasing with all of the green numbers. So I'm currently working on upgrading all my stuff. I'm just out of Veiled Crystals. So, you know, breaking down these different things can give you Veiled Crystals, which is something you need to upgrade those. But that's the blacksmith station. There's just those three tabs. That's all you got to work on. And this is just for your armor. You can see that the jewelry is blacked out here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over to the jeweler and show you guys how to upgrade your rings and the different things you can do at the jeweler. So first one is crafting gems. So we can actually craft. These ones are for level 60 though, but these are all the different gems that you can put and slot into your armor pieces. If you mouse over them, you can see their effects on weapons, armor, and jewelry. But th this is just where you're going to craft them. It just costs money to put them together. You're just going to need a certain amount for each one. So it's three on each. We need three of the previous one, three of the previous one. And then for the unsocket, we're going to... It's just if it, it, you press it and you mouse over whichever armor piece. And then it'll show you the unsocket cost in the bottom. So you can see the bottom down there, the unsocket cost is 47,412. And you can use this to unsocket gems. When you get access to the Fallos and Royal types, once you hit that level. So once you hit level 50 Ninja, you'll get Fallos unlocked. Once you hit 60, you'll see Royal. The next one is add sockets. So I don't have any armor pieces on me, but your helmet, chest piece, pants, and your weapons, as well as rings, you can add jewelry sockets. So if you find a good weapon, open world, or a good armor piece or jewelry piece, you can actually throw sockets into them to put gems and then upgrading your jewelry. This is the upgrade jewelry section. Again, my, my jewelry is fully upgraded, but this is where you would go to throw all your jewelry in. You would throw your jewelry in here to upgrade. It'll show you the preview of the bonuses, just like it did on the blacksmith. And that's where you would throw those to get those upgraded. But that's really all you need to know for basic upgrades for when you're getting started here in Diablo. All you need is the jeweler and all you need is the blacksmith. So those are for those basic upgrades. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see all of you in the next one.